his is going to be a story time I want to share this story time with you it's a story time like it gotta be a story time so this story time is gonna be about the time that I found out I got cheated on now this was like a heartbreak heartbreak for me because I really 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 was into this guy at some point I thought I was in love with this guy so when he broke my heart when I found out he cheated on me I was like genuinely hurt about this. I was like OD hurt. So let's just get right into the story. So a little background. He was my boyfriend um, and he had to go to a different state to do some work. So he was going to be out there for like about two months or so. So we were so close. I was with him every day. And when he had to leave, I was staying, at the time I was um, staying at his mother's house here and there. I was there at her house or whatever. That just goes to show like how close we were. And um, I was at his mother's house while he wasn't there. So it was that type of uh, bond and relationship that we had. So he gets back from his work trip or whatever. Oh wait, really quickly, I just wanna say, um oh no matter of fact nah so he get back from his work trip because this is how i actually found out how everything happened so he gets back from his work trip two months later and um literally i think it was like the day either the day he got back or uh two days after he got back he was going to the gym with his father so i was at his mother's house and he left me at his mother's house whatever so um, he had left and I don't know, there was just an intuition in me that was like, nah, go through his laptop. You know his laptop is connected to his phone. Go through his laptop. You ain't never searched through his stuff before. Just go through it. Like, it's something there. So I ended up going through his laptop. And the thing was, I had knew his password because he had typed it in before. And I seen it, but I never, I'm not the type of girl to be going through your stuff. So it was like, I didn't go, I would never go through his stuff, nothing like that. But this was the first time I ever went through a guy's stuff. So I remember the password and I don't think he knew that I knew it, or maybe he forgot that I knew it. Maybe he forgot to change it. Whatever he did, it worked because it got me where I needed to be. So he freaking, um, so I go into his computer. Now his computer's mad. Oh, so it's loaded, mad, slow. And my heart is like. <gasps> because you know how you go through somebody's stuff. You don't know if they're going to walk in or whatever. So I'm texting him at the same time. Mind you, I'm going through his shit. So I'm texting him and I see my text messages popping up. So I'm trying not to read them so that he don't know like. Some, like so that he don't think oh like what why is my message being open like I didn't open it so I have to be very careful so I peep he's texting me and he's texting another number so I'm reading the text between him and this number and the text is oh um some number goes oh you know you don't have to be sorry you were never mine in the first place um something something and then he was like oh you know i'm really sorry about that you shouldn't have to go through this da, 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 da. um i'm happy now with my girlfriend and right there is where i lost it that took me out the window <laughs> okay i was like my freaking esophagus fell through my butthole because i was like if you're happy why are you even texting somebody right so 
Now, now when I once I seen that, I'm like, oh nah, now I really gotta go find something. I gotta find out what is going on. So I went to his best friend's messages and honey boo boo girl. If I did not find all the tea that I needed. So I go through his text message with his best friend. I'm scrolling up, 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 up. I see him talking to his best friend and he's like, yo, um, I was gonna say that, I was about to say the girl name, but I'm not gonna say the girl name. Anyways, he say the girl name and he's like, yo, if she don't come see me before I leave, I'm gonna tell her that it's over. I'm gonna break up with her. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm scrolling up more. Then I see messages where he's like, yo, I don't know who to pick between Crystal and blah. Like, this one understand me more than Crystal. And she's more this and that. Da -da -da -da. And oh, she said she gonna punch Crystal in the face. And, da -da -da. and mad crazy stuff. Like, OD crazy shit. So I'm, my heart is like, I'm on the toilet bowl. See, now me, I'm the type of person where once I start seeing stuff that don't sit well with me, I start getting a stomach ache. My stomach starts to turn. So I'm sitting on the toilet and I got the door locked. I got his laptop on my lap. Or, no, actually, I had the laptop on the floor and I was like bent over on the floor reading everything. His mother's in the house, his sister's in the house, everybody in the house. And I'm in the bathroom going through his stuff. So... I keep scrolling more. Now I see pictures of the girl, y'all. This girl was sending him pictures. And it's so funny because he used to always want me to send him, like, pictures or whatever. Or he would ask me, like, yo, why you don't send me pictures? And this is why. Like, I'm not sending nobody pictures. No man is getting no pictures from me. So, ever in life. No man is getting no pictures. You want pictures of me? Go on my Instagram and that's how you're going to see pictures of me. You're not getting no pictures of me. So, anyways, I seen pictures of this little hoe. And, um... She was ugly. She was not even cute. She was hit. Um, so, long story short, um, once I seen that he told his friend, like, yo, she don't come over. I'm telling her that it's over or whatever. I was like, wow. Because... I seen that I guess he had a little two month relationship with the girl and by the by the way he was texting his best friend I could see like okay they must have been in a relationship because he said I'm gonna break up with her if she don't pull up on me before I leave so he said I'm gonna break up with her I'm gonna tell her that our relationship is over so once I seen that I'm like wow so this guy was having a whole relationship in a whole nother state and it's crazy because I peed that, so I was going through the best friend messages some more, and there was a week that I had flew out to go see him out this in, in this other state. And in the thread between him and his friend, I seen that the girl came to visit him literally after I left back to New York, after seeing him. Then I was scrolling some more and I seen that his best friend was telling him like, oh, um, Crystal's video, Crystal's YouTube videos are getting me tight or whatever. This was back in like 2017 or whatever when I had first started making YouTube videos. Like I didn't know nothing about this stuff, but I had first started making my videos. So they weren't, my videos back then were a little, they weren't like how they are now. Cause now I know I have better software, I have a better camera and like, I know how to edit a little bit more now. So, um, but back then his friend texted him, hold on, give me a second. Back then his friend had texted him like, um, oh, his, Videos is getting me tight 
And then I seen him respond back like, yeah, her videos are trash. So that right there for me, that has broke my heart because my man was saying that my videos are trash. So I was like, wow, he think my videos is trash. And this whole time, like, he never told me my videos is trash or whatever. So like, I don't know, I'm the type of person where if you post to me like that, I would expect you to tell me like, if you think my stuff is trash, like if I'm doing something, whether it's videos or whatever, if you think it's trash, I feel like you should tell me instead of being fake to me and being like, oh yeah, like it's whatever, or not giving me like, um, or critiquing my stuff. So I was like, damn, he mad fake because he ain't even, he couldn't even tell me fake to my face that my, he think my videos is trash. Like I'm over here thinking like he support me, but now I'm finding out you calling my stuff trash. So once I seen all of that, I went taking screenshots with my phone of everything, everything that, um, everything that I seen, everything that I needed to see, I took pictures of everything. And what I did was I got my stuff and I, I was leaving and his mother had seen me and so his mother was like, what's going on? Are you okay? Cause I guess she's seen that I looked a little like frustrated or I looked sad or I looked like something bad just happened. So his mother was like, where are you going? Like, are you okay? Are you sure you want to leave before he gets back? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at what I just seen. So I ended up showing her everything. So she's scrolling through, she's reading and she's like, like she didn't even know what to say. Like she was just looking at the phone like, oh my God. And she's like, you know, um, you do what you need to do, but just, you know, have a conversation and see what happened. So I'm on my way home, call my Uber on my way home, and I just send him all the screenshots of everything that I've seen. I send him everything, screenshots of everything. I do not hear back from him for like 30 minutes or an hour, yo. Like he did not respond back right away. He didn't know what to say. So when he does respond back, he was just like, I am so sorry. And I was just heartbroken. I was crying. I was just a mess, y'all. I was such, I was, a, I was a mess. I was crying everything. And so, yeah, after that, um, I, we just went back and forth. The crazy thing is, I didn't break up with him after that, which... I should have, but I wasn't ready to break up with him. Like, I ended up staying with him. I feel like, I, it just, things just weren't the same. Once somebody do you wrong, cheat on you or whatever, once they lie to you, it's over. That is gone. So you can never be your happy self with them ever again because they did that to you. So we were together even still after that, but it just got to a point where we eventually just broke up and then we just never spoke again because... It, it just went downhill from there. From there, it was just, it was over. So yeah, that pretty much sums up that story time. That was crazy. That was the first and last time my heart ever got broken. My heart ain't never break after that. So yeah. Well, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow with Vlogmas number seven. We are seven days in. Wow, we one week going strong. That's lit. So, I will see y'all tomorrow. I hope y'all enjoyed my story time. Make sure y'all comment down below. Make sure y'all give a thumbs up. And ultimately, um, if you're not subscribed already, I'm gonna need you to go click that subscribe button and put on the bell notification so that you can get notified every time I post a video. I love y'all and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.